This is how to install Aslan's Mod Pack 9.15 dot whatever the hell it is right now currently. So first thing you want to do, open up your Internet Explorer provider, whichever one you use. Type in Aslan's. Go to the forum. Now, depending on your language, you can choose whichever uh, language you want. World of Tanks Mod Packs. Oh, it's 9.15.15 right now. Now, what you want to do is, if you're in the European server, click one of these direct links. US, one of the direct links here, unless you want to use the mirror, which brings you to AdFly, and I do not like that. You go ahead and download it, and it's going to take me a couple minutes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what my current mod pack is while that downloads. Uh, you go find it in wherever you stored it. Double click it. So I installed mine to my uh, downloads folder. Open that up. I'm going to minimize this while that goes on. Give it a second to open. Uh, what I like, to, it'll, if you open up your old mod pack, it'll ask you if you want to download the new up to date one. I'm going to say no, so that it just continues. And here we go. So next, next, next. Oh yeah, this page here will tell you uh, what is new in the, uh, in the version that you just downloaded. So I'm just going to skip past that. I install mine to my World of Tanks folder. It's where you should also uh, install yours. So wherever it's located, install it to there. And it'll automatically attach everything to your World of Tanks. You don't have to mess with anything. So here we have it. I need to, I mean, it's going to be kind of difficult to see, but basically I use pretty basic things. This is, half this stuff here is going to be to your discretion on how you want to set your stuff up. So if you click different ones and hide description, It'll get rid of it, show description, it'll show you which everything is. So I use this one here. There's colorblind, non-colorblind. There's a whole bunch of different ones. So whichever is your favorite, you can use. I'm just going to skip past the preference. Uh, what I, what you, like you guys can pick what you want. Like there's a whole bunch to choose from. Over target marker. This is just what displays over top the uh, enemy or your allied tanks as well. So once again, this is all preference. You guys can click on it. It'll show you half of them and what it is. Um, class icon, default. Now you can choose. Uh, there's a shadow behind the name. It doesn't really matter, but helps define it if you have a hard time seeing. Advanced battle loading. When the game loads in, it'll show all the stats instead of simple, which is not everything. I choose advanced. I'd like to know everything. This is the average tier the player plays, how many games they have on their account, how many games they have in their vehicle, their win percentage in their vehicle. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Uh, this is their win eight, sorry. Not their uh, games in the vehicle. This is their win rate. These are the amount of games they have in their vehicle. The H is for 100, so 400, 300, etc. Uh, with a 45% win rate and their average damage uh, per game on a ratio so to their HP. So if they have HP of 1500, then this will be a 1.0. Done. Let's move on. There's a lot to cover here. Uh, statistics, when you press tab, that is this. Uh, it'll pull up the same thing as battle loading when you press tab. So you can do this as well. This is... Uh, their clans, if they're in the top 50 clan, etc., whatever you pick, it'll be there. Um, player panels. So this just tells you what uh, your in game, when the battle starts, all the info will either shrink or stay there, depending on what you choose. You can choose it like that, it just shows their name. Uh, it, th this font is just what the mod pack was showing like up top how I showed you the preference stuff it'll be whatever you pick it's not it's not what this is showing you it's just the size this one shows the exact size of what is shown so I usually play with large with a full background it'll be black you can have anyway you can have none where it's just invisible in the background but it's harder to read so I use the background all right 
This here is kind of helpful. Um, if somebody's spotted currently, it'll be green. If they've yet to been spotted from the game, it'll be gray. And if they're no longer spotted but have been spotted, it'll be red. You can use, also use a light bulb, same idea. Whole bunch of different ones here. I use the eye. Doesn't really matter what you guys pick. Another player panel thing, I use the HP bars. It's kind of nice to know how much my team is currently on for HP if I need to rely on somebody. Uh, you can choose different ones here. Um, I might start using this, honestly. This one looks a little bit better in my preference. Uh, I'm not much of a fan of just the bar itself. So, um, this here, it's the circle on the minimap. I'm going to let you guys look at this stuff because... Oh, this is cool. This is a new one, actually. Display uh, extra markers for spotted and flip tanks. That's pretty cool. So, you can have that on if you'd like. Um, I'm going to leave that alone because it's a relatively new thing, so I don't want any bugs to come with it. Um, let's move down here. This one's kind of nice. It's the it's a minimap zoom. Oh fuck! I just screwed that up. So it's called the minimap zoom. When you hold left control or whatever button you choose here, it'll bring up the minimap, either for instance centered in the middle of your screen, really big, or in the bottom right hand corner, bigger. Hold the left control or whichever one selected here that you want, and that will make it pop up. So let's move on a bit. Very handy if you do clan wars, easier to ping the map really quickly. Uh, hit log. Several hit logs here to choose from. I'm gonna let you guys choose what you want. Whenever you hit a vehicle, it'll appear here through damage, how much the last damage was you did, if you killed them, etc. This is the position where it will be. So either the top left or the middle here. I choose the top left. Uh, this is how many lines it, it shows. So. You can show 10, 15, or 5. I choose 10. It's the perfect amount. Uh, color rating scale on XVM. These are scales. I choose 10 because I'd like to know if people are just really bad or kind of bad. Six sense icons. You guys can choose. There's a whole bunch here. There's uh, six hey sense man. sounds. So I use this one. Hey man. It's a trap! A whole bunch of good ones here. So, hey man. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with my A team. I kind of like that. You guys can play with what you want there. Um, these are just stuff for the inside of the garage. This one is very handy if you have lots of tanks. It uh, shows multiple lines of tanks. But if you use more than two rows, you're gonna want to have it set to smaller right here, because if it's bigger, you're no longer gonna be able to see your tank in the garage. So if you like to look at your tanks, say goodbye to that if you don't set this to smaller. Now this shows um, multiple stats in the vehicle. This is up to you to pick. There's more info. There's less info. I'm right about in the middle here, so you guys can choose what you want for that. It's another preference thing. Nothing to do with in-game stuff. Uh, you guys can read a lot of these. I'm going to skip over some of them. Camera zoom scripts. Um, I will show you this. This is the enable free cam in replays. If you like to watch replays like I do sometimes, I'll move around the, the map a little bit. Uh, you press F3 to activate it. Obviously, you can read it right there. Armor penetration indicator. This is uh, really nice. If you don't know the armor values of tanks, like you haven't played for very long, this one is very handy. It'll show you how much your penetration is versus how much the armor is there. So if you overmatch it or not, that's a good way to learn uh, what the armor values are in certain areas. It'll, I mean, that's if you want. I use this one because it shows you how much you overmatch the armor by just with the number. It doesn't show you the armor value. I don't really need that right now. Moving on, server crosshair, the server reticle. You can use that if you want. Damage indicator. This is nice to know where you've been hit by. So if artillery splashes you, then you can say, oh, it's over that way. So you can position yourself in a way that you won't be hit by them anymore. So that's very handy. This one here I used to use, but it kind of messes with my replays a bit. It's a proximity warning where this is the closest vehicle to you will show up in proximity within 100 meters. 
don't use that anymore, but it's very handy if you're a newer player. It teaches you a little bit more awareness. If there's somebody behind you, it'll say, hey, this person's right here. And you're like, hey, well, that person's not in front of me. So, oh, okay. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy that one. It's a very helpful mod. Uh, what do we got here? Forget what that one does. Uh, Auto aim plus. This here, uh, you can aim. See the vehicle right there? If you aim right here and right click, it'll automatically lock to that target. I'm going to turn all those off because I don't like them. You can choose to have these on or not. It's block shots, etc. Moving on. Uh, that auto aim plus is a very handy mod, just saying. So if someone's behind a building and you can't get your reticle over top of them, you can right click and it'll lock onto them without you having to have the red outline. So it's very helpful. Um, these are all different uh, reticles for your tank. So you can have uh, here's some artillery ones. You have a whole bunch of different uh, reticles. Fucking artillery. Um, I just choose the standard crosshair with a little more extra info. You guys, once again, preference, choose which one you want. There's a whole bunch. Battle Assistant with SPG. This is the above view where you can see in a different view rather than just top down. Press G to activate it when you're in artillery mode. Now, one thing it doesn't say about this mod is if you hold the left alt button as you're firing, you will follow the shell. And it is very cool to watch. Uh, if you're an artillery player, enjoy that. I just found out about it recently, so do what you want with it. This is damage panel next to your vehicle saying if you got hit for no damage or if it penetrated, etc. What type of shell they used and who shot it. Very helpful to have. You can choose the position of where you want it to be displayed. Here, 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 here. I play right there I believe I have yeah anyway so that's that um, this is just the standard damage panel like your vehicle I just use that one it's pretty basic um, this here um, you can choose to what you want it to say if you want it to track the damage your win 8 and damage all, like or just everything your efficiency win 8 damage I just use Win8, I don't care, I have a damage counter, so that's up for you guys to use. Um, this one's kind of interesting, you can turn off the fog so just the maps look a little nicer, I do that. Um, there's a whole bunch of things here that you can disable to make your game run a little bit smoother. Um, so, I mean, if you have a tough time running the game, you can turn some of these off if you'd like. Uh, team HP pool bar. That's this here. It shows you um, how much HP the team has. There's different ones, a whole bunch of different ones here. So, I prefer the Armag or Locessens or Armageddon. Both of them are decent. This here uh, is OTM reload. You see this number right here? This is what those people are reloading with. You can use circles also if you'd like. Uh, this one here is just above them instead of below them. I use this one because I know it works. Um, that's very handy when you're doing poke shooting to know if the enemy's loaded or not. You don't want to uh, pop out in front of somebody if they're currently loaded, so probably should use that if you're not good at counting rounds. This is a pretty fun uh, little mod here. It's a penetration marker. Whenever you hit stuff, it does like the Call of Duty MLG hit marker. But it also makes a sound. Uh, it's kind of fun to use just for whatever reason. I enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy that one too. That is that. So, just scrolling down, uh, session statistics. Uh, it gives you the stats. This one's a little bit broken right now, so don't know what to tell you for that. I might use um, a different one here because the one I currently use is a little bit broken. But, eh, whatever. I'll just keep this for now. Uh, so, yeah, that is pretty much what I use. There's a whole bunch of little extra things here. I'm going to turn this one off. Enhance Marks of Excellence. This one was, uh, if you have one Mark of Excellence, it's highlighted in red, two is yellow, and three is green. 
I'm going to turn that off. It doesn't really do anything. I just had it on for something a little bit extra to look at. Um, it says purple, but I mean, in my eyes, it's red. So, But yeah, um, that is the current mods I use. Uh, you're going to hit next. It'll ask you how do you want to install it. Always hit clean install, please, as it'll clean up all the old mods and you won't have any errors in your folder once you select that. So you hit next. It will do an install. I already have this installed, so there's no point in me doing that. I'm going to go ahead and install the new one here in a minute. But um, that is how you install uh, Aslan's Mod Pack uh, 9.15. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video, I guess. Comment on it if you have any more questions on uh, recommendations, etc. On what mods you would like. Um, or subscribe to the channel if you're interested in future videos. So have a nice day, guys. Thanks for watching.